um, the text said Shea has been around as long as Coco, and that is true. Um, Coco had focus, Shea did not have focus. Um, but also, Shea never had any proper linkages back into agro processing in Ghana. Even today, um, what, what has made Shea a global blockbuster agricultural pro product is the fact that multinationals based in Europe and North America have decided to put it into their soaps and their creams mm -hmm. and their moisturizers and whatever it is. When we had access to, to share, it was something that we looked down upon. Foreign companies have now found so a our way. research institutions. Didn't I don't blame the research institution because I don't think that that is where the gap is. I think the gap is markets. Mm -hmm. We have not created markets around our product. Now, see, I mean, you, you talked about my background. So, so we would take a product like Shear and say, so what can we do with Shear? First of all, what must you do to make sure that you can get it in a manner that is sustainable? Uh, in the right quality, and that is all the issues we talked about: finance, de-risking, um, co cooperatives, linking into agro processes, going to the banks, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But once you have it, the question is: who is going to add value to your share? And then the next step of work comes: how do you make sure that the agro processes are resourced? Are we marketing they, our agri sector no, enough? It's not uh, even before that. You see. I talked about a point and I want to emphasize. There's a missing issue of patient capital for agriculture, which we don't have. There's a lot of short-term facilities and products out there. Agriculture and agro-processing require medium to long-term patient money. Which